everybody, it's Gersh Kunstman, special report for the Brooklyn paper from Tuscany in Italy, where I'm standing in front of a statue of Giovanni de Verrazzano. Now here in Italy, there's no controversy at all. Everywhere you go, they spell Giovanni Verrazzano with two Z's. And that, I'm told, is the correct spelling. Or is it? Come with me on a voyage of discovery now obviously I came to Tuscany for one reason, but while driving around the gorgeous countryside, I came upon a medieval castle that turned out to be the ancestral home and lush vineyard of New York Harbor discoverer Giovanni de Verrazzano. Yes, I said vineyard. I also knew something else. We in New York City spell his name differently, and no newspaper has covered it better than the Brooklyn paper including recent moves by the city to add a Z to every sign for the Verrazzano Bridge. In Tuscany, many locals think that's a good move, because no matter where you go in Giovanni de Verrazzano's hometown, everyone spells it with two Zs. It is time to say good night to Napoli. Though it's hard for us to whisper upon a set With that old moon above the Mediterranean Sea mm, In the modern San Yadino, we'll go walking Where the mountains of the sun come into sight And by the little jewelry shop we'll stop and linger While I buy a wedding ring for your finger it was so important for me to get to the bottom of this big story that I drove right up to the castle, grabbed a bottle of wine, and asked the tough questions. How is Verrazano supposed to be spelled? With one Z or two? Both, actually. They're both right. <laughs> They're both right. How can that be? In the past, Verrazzano, double Z or double R, was the same in the literature, in the Italian... Uh, language was actually right. Well, this was way too much new information. So I headed for the castle's lush website and learned all I could about Verrazzano. There were entries about his castle, his region, his boats, his voyages, his homoerotic attraction to Native Americans. Wait, what was that? Yes, he loved their dark skin, their long hair, their broad chest, and their nicely laid out legs. But that's not important right now. We're talking about basic spelling here. <laughs> In the heart of the town near Castel Verrazzano, I met this German tourist, and I asked him a question of utmost importance. Sir, 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 how would you spell Verrazzano's name? With two Z's or one? Of course, two. Good answer. So that's all from the hometown of Giovanni de Verrazzano. I'll spell it with two Z's or one. I don't care. Because I'm enjoying some Verrazzano right now. And I'm Gersh Kunstman for the Brooklyn Paper in Tuscany, Italia. Mm, in the modern San Yadino, we'll go walking. Where the mountains of the sun come into sight.